all right, if you need to make lines for a test or a survey or something like that for someone to hand write in an answer, um, instead of using underscores to create that line, which will never act, actually line up perfect, um, instead of using underscores to create the line, we're going to use uh, tab stop instead. So I'll show you an example here. Uh, I'm going to do question one. And then instead of typing a whole bunch of underscores, I'm going to go up here just to the left of my ruler and select the right line tab stop. So right line tab stop kind of looks like a backwards L. And then all I have to do up here on my ruler is click where I want that tab stop. Uh, basically, it'll be where the line ends. So I'm going to make it at 5 inches. So I'll click once, and I'll get a tab stop there. Now I'm going to double click on that tab stop to change it. By default, it doesn't have a leader on it. So you'll see I've got a tab stop at 5 inches up here, and then I can put a leader on it. And I'm going to put a number 4 leader, so I'll get a solid line. And I'm going to click OK. Then when I hit tab, you'll see it tabs out to that tab stop, and it gives it a solid line. Um, if I hit enter to move down to question two, hit tab, creates a line. If I need a shorter line, question three, um, I can hit my tab to create my line, and then to make it shorter, all I have to do is simply move that tab stop over to where I want that line to end. If I need uh, multiple lines, So for example, on question four, if I hit tab, it goes out to my tab stop that I had from the previous line. I'm going to drag it out to five so it matches up again. And then all I'm going to do is hit enter, tab, enter, tab, enter, tab, and I can make lines all day. And they'll all be consistent.